I wish a Karen would. <laughs> you want to call the police on them for having a barbecue on a and Sunday? You're going to feel free. Back off. I'm going to tell them there's an African American man threatening my life. All right, you know what we do. We follow Karens of the world because Karens are dangerous. Ladies and gentlemen, let me bring your attention to the latest Karen. This Karen was texting while driving. Well, many states have passed laws that make it illegal to text while drive. And listen, if you're playing that game, sometimes you get caught, sometimes you don't. Well, this Karen got caught. Um, during the traffic stop, recorded on a police body camera and later posted online, a Karen is shown arguing with a police officer after she has been pulled over for texting while driving. Here's some of that video. Just so you know, also walking up to a woman's car, mm -hmm. you should have pulled me over. You're lucky I didn't have my pepper spray on me because you scared the ever living. If you, would, if you woman, would not, if you weren't going through emails, sir, you would probably be I'm not, more observant. I'm not trying to be, and I'm telling you, as a woman, mm -hmm. I'm actually shaking right now because okay. you scared the ever living out of me. Well, I've made over 7,000 traffic sir, stops, and I've never that, been pepper sprayed. But you, so. I understand that, mm -hmm. sir. But I'm telling you, as a woman, mm -hmm. you made me feel unsafe. Okay, I'm a public safety official, ma'am. I understand ma that, but I please listen to what mm -hmm. I am saying because mm -hmm. you're not listening because you're seeing this through the eyes of me trying to get out of a ticket, which mm -hmm. I'm not. Oh, you won't get I'm out of it, yeah. Sir, I can assure you of that. As a public employee, mm -hmm. I am letting you know as somebody who pays, who is a person who pays your salary. It's, sir, please. No, I'm no longer going to listen to you. The woman said, you are lucky I didn't have my mace. <laughs> Wait a minute. <laughs> this is an amazing thing that, that we've just learned here. So Karens can literally threaten a police officer with mace. The officer did not get upset. I mean, he was a police officer. He said, you're gonna get this ticket still. But he was still very courteous and very respectful. But this is just amazing to me that this particular Karen, um, after receiving the citation, it's just a citation. She threatens to physically harm the police officer. But, you know, let her tell it. She is not threatening, she's a law abiding individual. But the privilege is staggering. Staggering. I have never, I've been pulled over a few times. I got a lead foot, I will admit to it. I have <laughs> never told a cop. I have never told a police officer, bro, you lucky I didn't have my mace on me. I mean, I promise you, <laughs> I would have received more than a citation that day. Waz, what are your thoughts about this video, man? Couple of things, I do wanna say this first and foremost. We gave props to that brother out in Syracuse for being a great cop, uh, doing the job the way it should be done. I wanna commend this brother for comporting himself the way he did with this yeah. Hostile woman, she <laughs> right. was hostile. At the same time, you know what this reminded me of? I know you remember this, Dr. Rich. Remember there was that video a few years ago of a pool party out in Houston, I think it was. Oh yeah. Where it was a bunch of young black kids and the dude wrestled the young, the young lady to the ground yep. and was very aggressive with her. What I will say is like, I don't think Karen should have been wrestled to the ground, put in a headlock and have a knee on her back. No, that's not what I'm saying. What I'm saying is just like how you mentioned what we want for crack users and opioid users is humanity and empathy. Mm -hmm. That's what we would like, this type of policing is what we would like to see for everyone. I would have liked to see that young black girl in Houston be treated with this level of deference and patience That's right. in her interactions with the police. This is just a shining example of what policing could look like if we applied it across the board to all of our citizens. Let me provide some more context. If all interactions with police, for traffic stops, whatever it may be. If you saw that level of professionalism and that kind of demeanor, there would be no issue. 
there will be no issue whatsoever. Um, but you don't. What you see is an unequal application of authority. That mm-hmm. is what you see. Um, I can easily remember, and hell, some of those incidents are on YouTube of black folks who are respectful, who are saying, I'm keeping my hands here because I don't want to make certain movements. And the officer still being aggressive and, and being extremely, extremely abusive with their language. And it still ultimately ends up in either a scuffle or an arrest because the officer could. Uh, this is, and I agree with you, Was this situation was a good policing situation. The person broke the law, they got pulled over, they got a citation. You play that, you, you play around with the text messaging while driving thing, you get a ticket, that's on you. But wow, she literally not only threatened him with mace uh, by saying, you lucky I didn't have my mace. She then um, talks about, well, you know, you approaching the car, I'm a female. Wait, wait a minute. <laughs> Wait a minute, the police officer has to approach the car to give you the ticket. I, I, don't, I don't understand that. And, and here's what else you see here. Um, the Karenicity in her does run deep. But see, that stuff don't really work on white cops like it works on other folks. And so he was kind of immune to it, right? So, he, so all of that Karenicity was, was just, you know, it, it, he neutralized it. Uh, but it is quite fascinating that in that moment, what you saw was a um, white female willing to be to at least express a sentiment of violence against a police officer just for getting a traffic ticket. I mean, we've seen that over and over where they come up with the resisting arrest thing, where the guy's like, mm. "Hold on, I'm not doing anything. Why are you arresting yeah. me?" It's like, well, you mouthed off. Like that's oftentimes that's enough to get arrested by a cop saying something that they did not like. Period. We've seen that over and over and over again. And so, you know, to watch this cop literally just walk away and say, Well, I mean, I've had over 7,000 other interactions <laughs> I mean, with people. He's he been putting it in. I mean, come on <laughs> 7,000 times, and you would be the first one out of 7,000. I don't, hey, I, I ain't no math expert, Dr. Richie, but that's a pretty low percentage. Yeah.